What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode. I'm Manuel, this is Avalon Outdoors. Today I'm out here with Ivan and his brother Alex. We're in the Keys, we're going fishing. We got caught in some traffic, so we were literally driving for six hours, but we finally made it. And we're gonna see what we can make happen today. Do not go anywhere. That thing's sitting pretty low, huh? Four inches. Alright guys, we're at a bridge, we're anchored up, we're chumming. Got some snappers behind the boat there. We're gonna try to get them on. Got some live shrimp in there. Got them on. Look at the fish right there. I used to come here doing every fish to Oh, look at that guys. Tiny little mango. He's going back for his fish of the day. Tiny little mango snapper, sending him home. Check out that shrimp right there, guys. Let me use them right back in there. Oh, they're flared behind the boat. There we go, getting a bite there, guys. Please be a legal fish. Oh my gosh, she's so close, but not there. All right, guys, check it out. This is a white grunt. We won't be eating them today, but we will be using them as cut bait. Tiny little snapper. Gosh. All right, guys. I cannot catch keeper snapper. We're hopping in with the guns. Gonna see if we could shoot something or find some bugs. Looks like Ivan might have got something, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you ever a, had one a spade fish? Have you ever had one? I've never had one. They're decent. For the school, when I was growing up. <laughs> spade fish. So the fizz is terrible. I'm not able to see anything good enough to shoot it. My goggles are fogging up. And I can't find any bugs. So I haven't managed to shoot the spade fish here. Nice, beautiful gray meat on those. <laughs> All right, guys. So we dove the bridge. Couldn't shoot anything. We fished the bridge. Couldn't shoot anything. I haven't actually shot a spade fish. So we'll be keeping that. But that's not what we want to eat today. We want to find something else. So we're going to keep moving. Ivan's over there heading to the next bridge. So I'm going to go meet him over there now. And then we'll see what happens. Oh, no. Bro, I'm getting dumped. <laughs> Turn on the clicker, huh? That is another legal grover. Maybe. Maybe. All right, guys, we just caught one mangrove off camera. It was legal. All right, two in the box. Yeah. It's a pork fish. Nope. Smog. Oh! Third keeper, baby! We're on. Another keeper, baby. Oh yeah, hell yeah. 
There we go. There we go, baby. There goes my limit. <laughs> That's a keeper all day. There we go, guys. Mangrove limit accomplished. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Got a shark on here, guys. Instant bite on a piece of grunt. And this nurse shark tried so hard. You got no it's idea. a nurse? Yeah. Bag him and tag him. <laughs> he choked it instantly. In the gill. Little nurse shark. Got him off. Yo, look at the macro right there jumping. <laughs> Bro, that's a real fish. Bro, that's, it broke the fucking rod holder. It broke the rod holder clean out of the boat, dude. Bro, bro, forget about that. He's going to get you in the piling. <laughs> All right, bro, get him in. Lock that accurate up, man. No. Want me to follow you guys? Alright guys, we have to take off the anchor so Ivan can chase his fish. So I'm just following him. No way! It just pulled off. All right, guys, so we're at a new bridge here. Got a chunk of grunt. Gonna take this. Just hook it right up through there. Just like that. Here, grab my hand, grab my hand. All right, here you go. Both of my rods went off at once. I lost the first fish, it seemed like a pretty big tarpon. And now we have a shark on my other rod, it looks well, like. Tell them what happened. Huh? Tell them what happened. Both of the, oh. Yeah, so my lines got tangled, Ivan had to cut it. Ivan had to cut my line, retie it together. I ended up losing whatever I had on my line. It looks like the camera cut out, I didn't get it. So now we're trying to see what we have on here. It might be a goliath. Dude. If it's a goliath, it's, it's a nice fish. You're close. I don't have too much leader. so far. I've never retied a line and kept fighting it. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? It's pulling drag still? <laughs> Bro, this is what it's all about right here, man. It might be a big nurse. There it is, whatever it is. Looks like a big nurse. Yep. It's a big nurse? I think so. My lord, that thing is humongous! Gosh! Look at that thing. Absolute horse. That's a keeper if you want to keep one. <laughs> we won't be keeping that guy today. That is a monster. That's a big nurse shark. That's a huge nurse, dude. Is he coming? Yeah. Let me know if you need me to slow down or anything. Yo, I just missed a monster fish, dude. Yeah. We got him. Monster nurse shark. Bro, it's huge. Oh, Look at him. Beast. Woo. 
That is a big one. I don't think so. All I know is that was an epic fight. I think he's around my ankle. Oh my lord. Yeah, it's like it. Bro, what are the chances both rods go off at the same exact time and the camera doesn't get it? It happens, dude. Wow, that's a big nurse shark. That is a huge nurse shark, man. Here, just get it all the way to the tip and pass it, dude. <laughs> thing is kicking my ass. Gosh, that thing is huge. Yeah. Gosh. Is the drag locked? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, are you kidding? <clears throat> I've only got so much fight left of me, man. Look at that thing. All right, let's cut him off right there. Ready? Get it below the weight. <sighs> That's a story. Guys, so I had two rods out. One is a shrimp, one is a big piece of grunt. I guess the camera, I don't know what happened with the camera. It didn't, it didn't get it. I lost what I think was a huge tarpon. Or a permit. Or a permit. My line got tangled with the conventional. Ivan had to cut it, tie it back to itself, and then we landed that huge nurse right there. So I'm gonna go see if I can put down another shrimp and see what happens. That's so painful, dude. Yeah. Gosh! I think I might have jumped on the other side, bro. Oh. All right. It doesn't feel too big. Bro, I am getting it up. It's a mutton. It's a small mutton. Check it out, guys. Small little mutton snapper. Way small. They have to be 18 inches, so we'll be letting them go. And that's how we're ending the day, guys. I lost that huge fish there. Unfortunately, the camera didn't get it. We ended up catching that nurse shark that I hooked on my other rod. I do have a limit of mangroves and a spade fish. I honestly don't think I'm gonna eat the spade fish. We have a limit of mango snapper. I was gonna eat the snapper. And that's just how the day ends. Gonna go home, clean everything up, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, we're back home. We got one of those mango snapper here. The rest of them are already cleaned. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I clean mine. First, I'm gonna take your scaler or fork, whatever you wanna use. You're gonna go all around your fish. Make sure you get in these little areas right here and get rid of those scales. Having a scale in your mouth will ruin your appetite. So you just wanna get everywhere, right up along the dorsal fin, make sure there's no scales. by the fins, right up under the collar. Then you're gonna flip your fish over and repeat. And you just wanna feel around your fish, make sure there's no more scales. Once you've done that, come in with a knife. And you're gonna cut down into your fish, just opening up the stomach cavity. You're gonna open up your fish, and as you guys can see, this fish is full of the chum we were feeding them. It's gonna reach in here, grab the gills, and you're just gonna rip out all of the fish's organs, just like that. Down in here, you'll see some type of lining in the stomach. Just use your knife and go like this. And then you'll see a bloodline down here on the bone. Just use your knife and rub that bloodline. Now that you've rubbed that bloodline up, then take a hose. And now you guys can see that 
thick, nasty bloodline is not there anymore. And there is some more gunk in here. It's gonna take your hose and spray out all of that. Then you have a nice, clean, gutted mangrove snapper. And my neighbor's shooting in the background. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have all of our fish cleaned up. We're going to go in the kitchen and we're going to cook something good. All right, guys, so we have all of our mangroves here. And a lot of times when you don't ice fish properly, their eyes look like that. This is not the case. After I clean my fish and I'm going to eat them whole sometimes, I let them sit in fresh water and lime. So the lime kind of cooked their eyes a little bit, and that's why they look like that. But we'll be eating our fish whole today. We'll be frying them. So I'm going to come in here. Go ahead and clip off that tail. You can use a heavy duty scissors or like I have a trauma shear. And then you have your tail clipped off. Come in here, clip off these other fins, the peck fins. Then once we have our fish cut, we're gonna come in with our knife and we're gonna make some scores on our fish. Depending on how many you want, I like to add three. And then come in on this side and do the same thing. Maybe I did that one the wrong way. And there you go. So now you have some cuts in your fish. Get seasoning down in there. Get seasoning down in here in the cavity of the body. And what I have here is called Zatarin's fish fry. And it's just a breading that you fry fish in. So we're gonna make sure we get it all over our fish. Get it all in there and just completely coat our fish. And just like that guys, this fish is 100% ready to be fried. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this process four more times and then we're gonna drop these fish in some hot vegetable oil. All right guys, so we have all of our fish all seasoned and breaded as you can see. And if, if you take a look at this pot, this is what we call a Dutch pot. Any Jamaican knows what a Dutch pot is. So, I have some vegetable oil in here. I usually cook with coconut oil. I don't have any right now. When you're frying fish, you wanna make sure your oil is extremely hot. <laughs> Ignore the pronunciation of the word extremely. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and get that right in there. Just like that. And we'll do two fish at a time. Just like that. And then we wait. And guys, it isn't necessary to flip them. You really don't have to, but I like to. There we go. All right, guys, time to remove our fish and take a look at that. Fried to perfection. Let some of that oil drain off. Do not want any more oil than we need. I'm gonna come right in here. And drop that right there. Then our next fish. Look at that. And guys, while our fish is still hot, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt to it. And that is all you will need. Nothing more. That's some real Jamaican stuff right there. I'm literally like <laughs> this Jamaican. <laughs> All right guys, so we have the rest of our fish frying, but I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. Take a look at this. If you're Jamaican or from the islands, you 100% grew up eating this. And this is what I grew up eating and absolutely delicious. Look at that. Zoom in and look at that white meat.
What I will tell you guys is, please be careful when you're frying fish with bones. I know how to just pick around bones. Some people don't and they'll swallow it. So, cheers. Come. It doesn't get any better than that. Must have the hot sauce. You know me, y'all. Motion. It literally just tastes like fresh, fried, delicious fish. I hope there's no bones. No, there's no bones right there. Mm. <laughs> so good. Guys, so when we went to the Keys, um, we were hoping to get a permit or something like that under the bridge. It didn't happen. We still ended up with some dinner. So I can never, ever dinner complain. For days. Exactly. Can never complain about bringing home dinner for the family. And that's how the chip ended. Guys, all cleaned out. This is the rib cage area where there's most of the bones. I do not feel like picking through it, but this is delicious. Make sure you try it for yourself. Get some Zatarain's fish fry, some hot coconut oil. You don't need a Dutch pot. You can do it in any pot and try it out for yourself. Bad day to be a snapper, huh? <laughs> this fish is delicious. I'm extremely tired. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>